Our next uh, clash is uh, the one between uh, Jonathan Pierce and uh, Kai Kamaka. And uh, this match is uh, recently slated, so we'll have put a brief analysis. Jonathan GSP Pierce, 6 foot tall, 71.5 is his uh, reach, fighting out of Tennessee. And uh, he had ups and downs, but uh, before UFC, he had pretty much uh, good results. At Bellator MMA, he defeated uh, Damir Ferhatbegovic and Omar Johnson at Bellator MMA Fight Series. He also at Strike Fest defeated Nick Baker, then uh, at Warrior FC, Dedrick Sanders. He knocked out Jacob Rosales at Contender Series. So, he was a really, really great prospect, but then he lost to, against Joe Luzon. He surprisingly lost via that uh, ground and pound. I didn't expect it's gonna last. Uh, it's gonna last, uh, it's gonna be such a quick uh, bout. But overall, Jonathan Pierce is a very well rounded fighter. Good elbows, good knees, good punches, good ground fighting. When it comes to submissions, submission defense is, uh, submission defense is now way better than it used to be. He improved his submission defense a lot since uh, Valor fights in 2016. Now he's gonna meet Kai Kamaka, who's riding a score of 8 2. Pearl City Hawaii fighter and uh, he is boxer and wrestler. Five foot seven, his reach is 69, 69 inches. He's going to face a reach disadvantage, but I think he is a slightly better puncher than uh, Jonathan Pierce. Well, Jonathan Pierce is better with elbows and knees and such things. At LFA, he was outstanding against Michael Michael Stack. He showed some really, really world class stamina. At Bellator, he was also good, defeated Shojin Miki, Spencer Higa, and uh, right now he's riding on a six-fight win streak. He defeated Tony Kelly via anonymous decision at UFC 252, Miocic vs. Kwame at 3, and uh, yeah, he lost to Andrew Natividad and Jeffrey Massa. His last uh, loss happened in 2017. So, also in amateur, Kevin Natividad defeated him, but uh, I can say it's gonna be very, very... Very hard night for Jonathan Pierce, because uh, Jonathan Pierce is very well rounded, but Kai Kamaka is known for extremely fast punches, and his wrestling is very good. His uh, offensive wrestling is very good, so it's gonna be very hard. I mean, Jonathan Pierce is a good fighter, but uh, I just uh, I just think it's very hard to knock uh, Kai Kamaka out. It's very very hard. His chin can take a lot, and uh, he lost to Andrew Natividad uh, due to arm injury, you know. He was losing via decision and he is a cardio machine. I think he has better cardio than Jonathan Pierce. So this time I'm gonna go with Kai Kamaka. I say Kai Kamaka is going to